tonight from America West Arena and the Valley of the Sun. It's game five between the Houston Rockets and the Phoenix Suns. After a career playoff high of 43 points by Kevin Johnson on Sunday, the Suns are up three games to one. The Rockets led by Hakeem Olajuwon and his former five Slamma Jamma teammate, Clyde Drexler, faced elimination for the third time this season. Over 1,000 Suns fans put these signs up, encouraging their team to wrap up the second round series. The Suns hope to do just that as they go for the clincher and try to close out the defending world champions. And so, at America West Arena is our site. We come to game five between the Rockets and the Suns. The Suns up three games to one. Mathis, Bill Oaks, and Eddie F. Rush. Game five is underway, and the tip ends up in the hands of Kenny Smith. Three, a career playoff high Sunday. Into Barkley at 26 points, nine rebounds in game four. Inside. Tony Barkley, one less lead. Or he tried to play him single coverage. But we'll see how long he can go tonight. Ori from outside a three. And Ori, when he shoots well outside, he really starts to stretch the defense. Inside position again for the defensive board. Up it comes to Barkley. And Barkley hits the floor hard. Followed by AC goaltending on Akeem Olajuwon. AC uh, Green, Green reminds me of that cartoon where they say he's everywhere, he's everywhere. <laughs> Green has taken his play up about two notches since they've come into the playoffs. Here's Akeem to the hole. So after that air ball, he decided to go a little closer this time. To Klein. Klein has been brilliant shooting 64% against this Rocket team. Green tries to follow Barkley, and Barkley draws a foul. Good effort again by the Suns. Green started all of that. Barkley out to Klein. Wesley Person, who had seven straight points in the fourth quarter oh, Sunday, Wesley hits the three from outside. Chilka from outside, and the rebound to A.C. Green. Five rebounds already for A.C. To Kevin Johnson, to the hole. Are you kidding at that? Johnson, That's not getting the moment of truth where Rudy Tomdanovich wants it. Ball against the Phoenix Suns. Now in with the ball is Kenny Smith. He hits the three. Kenny Smith really has struggled in this series. Green's going to take it all the way in, kicks it back up into the hands of Kenny Smith. Smith so fast with the ball in the open floor to Drexler. Can't finish, and K.J. got a piece of it. Kevin Johnson thought he had all ball, but it'll be a foul on Kevin. And Klein didn't see the ball. He was looking the other way and went right by, and Kenny Smith oh, blocked by Kevin Johnson. What a defensive effort by K.J. Person with a three. Oh, there's an exclamation point on that one. For the side, person again. Rebound, Barkley. Barkley trying to get it back up and in. Did you talk about two back-to-back -back remarkable plays? This crowd is rocking here at America West Arena. Three seconds on the shot clock, and Ori this time delivers. Boy, he's getting a lot of looks from behind the line. Drexler from outside. Green with another rebound. Got a free one. And Barkley releasing quickly. We're going to have a technical on Barkley for hanging on to the rim. Eddie F. Rush has called the T on Charles. He felt he was hanging on too long. I kind of felt he was too. But hey, it's one of those things that I think common sense can, can kind of permeate the situation. And you can let some common sense come in, Gary. Let's take a look at it. I hung a little bit, put a little of his own exclamation point on it. He wanted to get the crowd involved here in America West Arena. Eddie F. Rush had a different viewpoint, just in purposeful. When you are facing a team that has a great lob there, I'm sorry I missed that, but that anything that can help them stay focused is good. Yep. Barkley inside. The double team was there, but he still split the defender. 18-15 with 3.34 left in the first quarter. Elijah on. He has such balance when he spins out to shoot the ball. And he has that unstoppable dream shake move. And it comes now to Marley. Marley can't get it, and we have a loose ball foul against the Suns. Corey tries to take it in against the double team. Awkward shot. Rebound put back by Chucky Brown. That's one of the few times A.C. Green wasn't there with the rebound. Corey, who's guarded Barkley now the last three games. Off it comes to Kevin Johnson. Johnson able to hit from outside. 120 to 19. 
Elijah, quick catch, quick shoot, and Tisdale could do nothing with it. The game thus far, 151 left now in this first quarter. The double on Hakeem. Kenny Smith with a tray. And I tell you, when he shoots well, he ignites it. So it's in. Kevin Johnson pulling up again. Kevin Schott is there. When he starts hitting that dick, then's when he does that crossover move and takes you inside. Working to an open space, not there. Elijah on to the rebound. Oh, how about this? And there's Marley working around, gets it to AC, and he draws the foul. Heads up play by Marley. Corey dumps it into Elijah on. The slicer inside. Good ball movement, and Chucky Brown with five seconds slams it home. Four-point lead for the Rockets. Wayman has time. Uh, we'll count if it goes, but he leaves it short. And Houston has to be very pleased with their first 12 minutes here. They certainly do. The Houston Rockets are tenacious. The snake is still wiggling. You're absolutely got that right. Four-point lead now for the defending world champions. Unlimited break it, break it the first quarter. In that first quarter, Houston attempted 11 threes. They hit four. Tisdale can't get it to go. Tisdale. AC from outside. That's a two. Danny Shays, a putback. In the range of Kenny Smith. Smith will back it out. Six seconds on the shot clock. Kenny ducks in. Nice move to the basket. Yeah, I think he should do more of that. I, it's going to be a lot of points put up tonight. Well, there's a lot said about game four. The Houston wore down late, and Sam Cassell comes in and just promptly hits the path with double on Barkley. L.A. Perry swings around to Wesley Person, the rookie from Auburn. What a sweet-looking stroke. A lot of people feel they remind him of Walter. He's got to put points up for the Rockets. Danny Shays the fall away, and the center's not able to get it, but Darkley able to erase that miss. Seven rebounds. Inside eight minutes to go in the first half. Elijah on foul. Shays knew he had given up inside position, reached in, and committed his first foul. Rebound ahead to Drexler. Drexler's going to take it to the hole. And we're going to have a blocking foul this time on Shays. Now, think that might be a make good? No, I don't think so. I, I think... I think that when you are underneath the basket, it's the worst thing in the world to see, and you see this a lot in college. Let's take a look underneath the basket. He's about a foot out from the basket. Really, from the dotted line on in, there's an imaginary five-foot circle that circles that rim, and you can't get a charge in the NBA in that circle, and you shouldn't. Great move, I thought, by getting high post centers. One of the reasons they did all that is to play this team here, Houston, who beat them last year in the semifinals, four games to three. And birthday tomorrow, he's in civilian clothing on the bench with the Suns. As Barkley backs it out, six seconds on the shot clock. Into the middle, and down it goes. As this game is evolving, I think that Paul Westfall is going to have to point the offense in the direction of Charles Barkley. You're a performance like K.J. gave him in game four. Oh, my word, did Shays get hammered there. Now, that was a legitimate hammering. There was no flop on that. Hakeem just ran over it. Look at this. Well, you make the call. I just don't believe. You don't buy it? No, I don't buy it at all. All right, it's we'll a discuss flop. it when we come back. All right. Kind of hodgepodge up till this point in the game. And it comes now to Barkley, and Barkley inside. Charles Barkley, and he's Marley's got a guard choke it. Five seconds on the shot clock. Ellie to the hole, and that'll count, and we have a foul as well. Charles Barkley. There's Kenny Smith from outside, the three, and he's looking like the Kenny Smith we saw in the first round. That one good drive to the basket, that's going to give him some space. Danny Shays, the big centers, finally get one to go outside. Throw line, has two points as far, he misses two, and I don't think that was a set play, but it certainly worked well, the way Chucky Brown followed on the miss. It's leading by a 45-42 count. Chucky Brown inside, and Elijah Wan with the follow. Wan, all the way against Shaves, rebound A.C. Green. He just continues to do the job on the defensive board. 14 of it. And Kevin Johnson finishes. See, that's exactly what Rudy T. was talking about. Why are we surprised? They're always tough when it comes to elimination games. Well, they're the defending champions. And, and Marley gets one, and that could take a... A lot of pressure off of Dan Marley. He has struggled so much. He gets the basket to go. The foul is going to go on Brown, his second. Well, anytime a guy who has the reputation for being a three-point shooter, and that's all he likes to do when he drives, it kind of surprises you. 
The Rockets that time could have done a better job of filling up the lane, but I think they were more surprised by the drive by Marley. Green backing in now on Chucky Brown. Four seconds on the shot clock, and Akeem reaches in, and that will be his third. So Elijah on would like to get that one back. Now. You got to get him out right now. Kevin Johnson, four of seven, eight points in the ball game. Strip. Barkley on the move. And he's fouled. And Barkley looks back. He agrees with the call. He's on the shot clock. They didn't hit the rim of that shot. Barkley inside. A left-handed shot not there. And we're going to have a loose ball foul. Barkley will use that left hand. And that time he overshot it. Probably should have taken a little more time. And Elliot Perry makes him pay for that. That's why. 51-47, a little spurt for the Suns here, the waiting seconds. Kelly finishing well, and he gets it to go just before the first half comes to a close. 51-49, Phoenix. Well, it's always a mystery. When you get a, a key emotional basket at one end, you have a tendency to lag. There's a celebration lag, which they pay for. Mario Elli with a chippy. The Reebok Halftime Report coming up. Mike Fratello along with Ernie Johnson. Stay with us. The Suns on top by two. Or coming off of that 43-point performance on Sunday. Here is Hakeem, and Hakeem had to sit down with three fouls in the second quarter. Comes out. Kevin Johnson trying now a little pick and roll with Barkley, and Kevin pumps from outside, and that's what you're talking about. He has to assert himself more from outside. Runs by two. Drexler bounces into Wesley Person. High Archie shot. Hakeem with a putback. So the two former University of Houston teammates comes over. Kenny Smith trying somehow to hang in there with him. Klein from outside, and Klein hit it. In the first half, he was 0 for 3. Here's Ori from outside. He misses. We mentioned in the first half, they attempted 15 threes. Kevin Johnson on the move. They try to impede his move. Out it comes to Klein, and Klein is 2 for 2 in the second half. Couldn't get it to go. Chucky Brown ducks in. Nice ad lib move. The basket will count, and he's fouled, and he'll go to the line. Hickens on the shot clock. Swing it around. Klein, he's going to go to the hole. Boy, you don't see that very often. And he went over Hakeem with a high arching left-handed. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Ellie, who's done a good job taking the hole at Barkley. He blocked it. Then to Green and comes up with the offensive board. Kenny Smith with a three. Kenny Smith keeping the Rockets close. Second foul. Watch this block. Gary, when you get an emotional play like this, you really want to put the capper on it. Ellie goes in for the shot, and he wanted to dunk. Barkley said, uh-uh. Get it out of here. We're tied at 59. Ball game at 59, 6.37 to go in the third. Kevin Johnson inside now. That's one of the few times this game he's tried to penetrate inside. Coming back now, the Rockets. They've hit seven of 19 threes. Drexler with a finger roll and the tip in by Ellie. Oh, that was a great effort by Mario Ellie. In fact, he got he two tips on it. By this Houston team in the semifinals. They want redemption. They'd like to finish it tonight. Boy, I tell you, Kevin hit the floor hard, and then Ori inadvertently stepped on top of him. And Barkley picks up Franchise Jr. Suns by one, 62-61. Lijuan against Shea, a big step, he draws a foul. He got the basket, and this is the first lead of the second half now for the Rockets. True, if I was Houston, to get that defender out of there. He drew the third foul of the game against Shea. There he Kevin is. now is Hello. starting to take the ball to the hole. In the lineup now in the backcourt along with Kenny Smith. He dumps it into Hakeem against Shays and a patented baseline jumper. And Elijah had that ball deflected by Shays from behind. We're tied for the 12th time. Barkley has not scored in the second half. And down he goes, and Person bails him out. Barkley was completely out of control to explode in this game. Out it comes to Person. That'll be a two. He stepped inside the line, giving two. Make up their mind to run some offense through him. Here's Cassell from the corner. That's a three. And Sam Cassell, who played brilliantly, you remember, in the NBA Finals against the New York Knicks. Oh, that they've got that part of a champion trying to stay as the world champions. Person with a second effort. All right, he does, but good help defense that time. Pass intended for Klein. He retrieves it. Missed the shot. Cassell 
takes it to the other end. Kenny Smith, another three. Yes, sir, and Kenny Smith has been on target. Trying to penetrate inside. Ten seconds on the shot clock. And then at 14 in the third, Kevin from outside. That's what he was doing Sunday. Ball rotation. The cell ducks in. Stripped by Marler. Ahead it comes to Person. Person to the trailing green to KJ. On their feet. Eight seconds left in the quarter. Elijah Watt trying to quiet the crowd and that will. Akeem coming through again. Now has 23 points. Wesley Person, two seconds, stripped to the ball, and that brings us to the end of this third quarter. That shot went, but it won't count. Marley hit it, but it won't count. Time had expired. Take a look at this fast break. It's going to be triggered here by a great defensive play by Dan Marley. That's why this break started. Nice outlet pass. Wesley Person in the middle. He chooses to give the ball back to the middle and over to KJ, a great finisher, even though he's a small man. And so the Rockets may have one quarter left in their season. We'll come back and find out. For the break, there's AC on the steal for a moment. Brown got it back. Five seconds on the shot clock. Chucky Brown. So they start the fourth quarter with Brown delivering. Inexplicably, 14 points. Did not score in the third quarter. Marley with a three. Crowd gets going. And to Elijah on a four-point lead for the Suns. Hakeem answers with a two. What a graceful, athletic type move as he comes across the paint. And 25 points for Hakeem. Here's Kevin Johnson from outside. So Kevin Johnson stepping it up now. 10-40 left in game five. The Suns up three games to one. Ellie with a three. Nope, they're going to see that's a two. He steps inside the line. Odd places. Chucky Brown, Mario Ellie. Ellie with 11 points. AC Green inside. Green now in double figures with 10 points. With three, Ellie floating shot. Rebound, put back Brown. Doesn't get it. Follows again. And that's two big baskets for Chucky Brown here in the fourth. Moving. Always penetrating. There's a funny movement by Klein. Akeem caught it anyway and draws the foul. That shows you the great hands of Elijah Wan. Klein missing outside. Barkley tries to come up with a rebound. Kenny Smith on the breakout. Klein is back. Smith challenges him and gets it. Oh, that was a great shot. I mean, he challenged a, a 6'10 man. And what if they're able to do that in the last two years? Barkley finally tries the shot. It was a difficult one. Angel strip. LA is going to go unmolested, and it's a four-point lead. All right, Ernie, how about Nick Van Exel? He's had some sensational games in the playoffs earlier against Seattle. Danny Shays able to get the one in some of the season. Here's from the baseline, Elijah Wan. Ellie keeps it alive. What effort by Ellie. you got to love that guy. I mean, he really gives a terrific effort. Smith is open, a three-line drive. A.C. Green high with a rebound and a foul. A.C. Green with that rebound would give him 20 for the night. Shot when he rushes it. He doesn't shoot near the percentage. Gets it stolen. Marley again with a good defensive play. Out to Ellie. Barkley jumps in front of him. Smith with three seconds. Two. One. Blocked by Marley. Marley's made three excellent defensive plays. And Kevin Johnson fouled by Chucky Brown. Goes inside. Hangs. Missed it. Bad one. Barkley comes back with it. Fresh 24. Out to Marley. A three. Three, and the Suns lead by one. Timeout going to be called now by the Rockets. And this place is erupting. Most travel, they got rid of it just in time. Chucky Brown challenges Shays and Ellie over the back. Mario Ellie trying to follow. Commits the foul. They can get the ball in the basket. Barkley's 0 for 2 at the free throw line, 0 for 3. I've never seen Barkley in such a funk. You have a Charles Barkley. You have to keep him interested. We talked earlier in the game about they weren't running things yeah. through him. They didn't go to him. They didn't. So we won't be afraid to go to him here because he knows that he has a feeling for the, for the dramatic. And we're going to have a foul on A.C. Green over the back. Barkley missing again. Charles looking skyward for some divine help because his game right now has deserted him. 38 seconds left. Now 10 seconds on the shot clock. Kevin inside tried to give it to Barkley. He wasn't there. The Suns throw it away. Rockets are still alive. Down by one. The fourth quarter. In it comes to Elijah. Backing in on Shays. Out to Ellie. 
Ellie slashing in, shoots it over Shays. Barkley tries to get the rebound. He's got it. A loose ball foul. And it's going to go against the Rockets. Paul Westfall pointing the other end of the floor. What an effort by Barkley. Barkley's rebounding has been something here in the last three minutes of the game. I am completely dumbstruck by what's happened to him thus far, so I'll stay out of the bet. Well, I don't blame you. He certainly has not had one of his better performances. And for some reason during the course of this game, Charles Barkley has seemed, and I hate to say it, disinterested. Now, I don't wow. know what happened. Normally, you run the offense through him during the course of the game. That keeps him involved. But, I mean, this is such a crucial game. Yes, they have a couple other tries at trying to get to the Western Conference Finals, but it doesn't make any sense. But Charles gets one of them. Houston uses their final timeout. 17.9 seconds left in the game. Being in the league last year, he's got to make it happen. They get it into LA. You see the time remaining. Into Elijah on. Elijah on trying to tie it up and does. At 92, 8.2 seconds, the Suns get a timeout. So Elijah on now with 29 points. Jay's hands and let him break it down from here. He's harder to guard with this much space. Four seconds, three. Kevin out to Wesley Person. It's on the way, and we're going overtime. Boy, that was a good look. He but set it, it up great. Stay in. Well, Paul had to figure, Paul Westphal had to figure that I'm going to get the ball to my guy, KJ. I'm going to let him break the defense down. But if they're going to send the Chinese Army after him, <laughs> I'm going to have somebody spotting up out there that can just give us a chance to win this. Wesley Person almost buries this. In the regular season, the Suns were 4-2 and two in overtime. And interestingly enough, the Rockets played only one overtime game, and they lost that. We'll come back. An extra session in store. Gretchen, limited minutes tonight because of all the flu problems. Here's Akeem backing in on Shays. Six seconds, five. Akeem, tough shot. Now in overtime. The Barkley touch pass to Green, stripped to the ball. Suns will have it. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Fifteen points, scoring only one point in the second half. And it comes to Charles, backing in. And he got it as the shot clock expired. So Barkley now, maybe he's ready to step it up on the shot clock. Ori looking in at 10. He wants to get it into a team. Shea's doing a good job on him. Ori with a three. Robert Ori into the shot and got it down. Nine points for Ori, who's average 11 in the series. Kevin Johnson ducking inside. I'm putting him on the free throw line if he comes in there. And you can't let him make that unmolested layup. And it comes to Akeem. 2.43 left in overtime. The Rockets by one, and that's going to be a foul on Elijah Wan. Elijah Wan with five. Jay's taking a punishment, drawing the foul. That looks like one way back at the start of the ball. Yeah, we're going to get in an argument again. I mean, there's a little <laughs> bit of a flop, but that's, there's definitely contact here. And I guess if you're gonna if you're gonna call it that way, you're gonna call it that way. The fourth quarter backs it out now to Kevin Johnson. Six seconds on the shot clock. Marley try another three. Wait a minute, they're gonna wave it off. Three seconds. Three seconds lane violation. And I'll tell you who it was. It was Charles Barkley. He had Clyde Drexler on him. He was so concerned about getting inside position that he ignored the lane. Out to Ellie. A three on the way. Air ball. Ori. Ori with the putback. And he's hit five big points here in overtime. Robert Ori is everywhere. But I am just amazed at the inability of Houston to find anyone else that can score besides these two guys. Robert Ori, of course, was a little fortunate on that. That was an air ball by Mario Eli. I mean, a big-time air ball. And good hustle by Ori. And gets a crier here that falls in. And Ori can add to that advantage. He goes to the line. 99-96 youth. It's a five fouls. Barkley backing him in and an illegal defense. That is the second. He'll be shooting a free throw. Do both. Score and get him out. Kevin Johnson now 8 of 11 for the free throw line. Again, coming into this game tonight, the Suns are shooting 82% from the free throw line. Best in the playoffs. Now at 61 tonight. TNT, we're in game 5 in overtime. The Suns trying to close out the Rockets and Akeem. Let's see if it's going to be Akeem or Drexler. Let's wait. Bill Oates, I think, may have been pointing to Drexler on this foul. For That's some reason, it's Drexler, not Hakeem. So the foul not on Elijah Wan. It goes on Drexler. A.C. Green at the line. And the Suns, when they look back at this one, if they lose it, they lost it right at the free throw line. Points in this overtime. Drexler to Ellie. Ten seconds on the shot clock. 
into Elijah Watt, backing in on Shays to Drexler. He's fouled, and Charles Barkley picked up the foul. He has been battling the flu. He did not come to the shoot around. He had to have IVs. He was dehydrated and uh, just trying to prevail here and try to get it to a game set center. Barkley at the power forward. Kevin Johnson inside and launches one over the back. I think it's going to be off of Kevin. Kevin thought he was fouled. The ball will go to Houston. They need to make something happen quickly, get a basket, a two or three will do, but then you've got a foul. Barkley trying to get a three on the way, not there. Tipped out, Marley will try to get a three underway. Here's his effort, it's not there. Rebound by Ellie and he's fouled. And with 12 and a half seconds left, Ellie going down in some pain. Houston will go eight and one in elimination games in the last two years, three and all this year. They staved off two elimination games in round one with Utah, and they've done it once again here at the expense of the Suns. Barkley with 17 points, a high point man has been Kevin Johnson. How about that? And there's the steal, and Houston is still alive. The reigning world champions are still alive for another day, and it'll be Thursday in the Summit in Houston as Houston coming in here able to throttle the Phoenix Suns team 103 to 97 ending a nine game home winning streak for Phoenix and they now have staved off another elimination game this is a difficult team maybe arguably the most difficult team in sports to eliminate the Houston Rockets. Well